a little bit of an icebreaker to start. I would like you between you to guess who said this and who they were talking about. She still does my head in every now and again. <laughs> I said it about her, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. I knew it straight away. <laughs> Off the pitch, she can still be annoying. She's always making me laugh, though. She's a great person. Less of so that about me. <laughs> me, she was nice. I thought it was just the first bit. I saw that, and it sort of smacked of a real friendship. It looked like two people who are, can have comfortable silences. 100%. Mm. And I think that's the thing with me and Les. Like, we can sit in a room for hours. You always say this. And not talk. Yeah. And it's fine. The other night, you did it watching Bayern Arsenal. Yeah. Just sat together. Made well, us some tea. You didn't really watch the game. So. <laughs> yeah. No. Chatting. Yeah. We were actually Messing talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But almost had a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's been in my new house, yeah, and no one's spilt anything. Like it's all been great. Les comes around last night, boom, trips over the dog, falls onto the glass table, my smelly air freshener thing goes everywhere. <laughs> She's the clumsiest person I've ever met. I think I'm just sometimes unaware of my surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> I think you grew too quick and you don't know the size of your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Like one of them puppies with like massive paws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time dinner's at my place. <laughs> yeah. Actually, did I not read? Are you not the cook anyway of the two? Um. Yeah. Did you, you say that? Yeah, I was I probably. I saw cook in my research. I saw that. Yeah, but as I've moved out now, like I'm She's getting matured. more mature and more. Before she moved kitchen. out, she didn't even know how to put the washing machine on. Now she's got her own house. She does her own washing, she does her own cooking. <laughs> my, boyfriend, my boyfriend's going to watch this. <laughs> yeah. Be like, no, 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 she doesn't. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> so what, what have been the things you couldn't do that now you can? Oh, loads of things like, can run a bath. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Because once I ran the bath, yeah, and didn't put the plug down and I thought, why is the water not staying in the bath? <laughs> so you obviously are like proper, like proper best mates. When did it start? Oh, um. Under 15s, probably. Yeah, it must have been about so 14. Been like, yeah, 13, 13 14. 14. We just hit it off. Yeah, I think, like, mutual... We became friends through friends, so I think, like, obviously, Stanway, me and Stanway, George Stanway, go way back, and yeah. we were always very close, yeah. and me and Ellie Roebuck as well, and I think they then started to get to know you, and then me and Lessie just really clicked. So what has the last year, I mean, nearly a year, we're sort of heading that way, aren't we? What has that been like? So you've been thrust into that world of... Celebrity, crazy, surreal, what's it been like? What's been the weirdest thing? Obviously for me it was getting papped, eating a pasty, like, of that's just a normal thing that I used to do and now I'm like, <laughs> well, so well though. can't yeah. eat a pasty now. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of things have changed for not only us but everyone involved in women's football and it, it's amazing and it's something that we've had to deal with and it's part and parcel of the game growing and that's all we ever wanted. Um, so I think you've just got to find ways of dealing with that. So it still feels weird for us, like people to come up to you in the street or in the Trafford Centre or whatever. It just shows that we're out there and women's football is visible, which is important. Um, but I think the opportunities off the, off the back of the Euros and just the season with Manchester United has been great. And we would have dreamt about going to sports personality and going to Coldplay and having their, all the Lionesses' names written on, our, on their drums. like. For me, I like that was a huge one for me because we both love Coldplay. Because you've felt the big occasion, won a massive trophy with the Lionesses, does that almost make you want the Champions League even more? Yeah, for sure. I think the Champions League is like the pinnacle of club football. Um, obviously, we want to win as many trophies as we can. So I think to compete for that and, and compete against the top teams in the world, I mean, we always watch the Champions League games, don't we? So... Well, you sort of half watch them. Half Normally watch knocking them. things over in each other's house. Half head the table. <laughs> and lastly then, what has it meant not just to do it, but to do it together, even think back to the final, came on together? Yeah, amazing. And there's a picture that I always look at after the final whistle blew and it's me and Alessia celebrating together. And as soon as that final whistle blew, we were right next to each other on the pitch. We celebrated that moment together. And yeah, it, it was amazing and it, it's... It's so special for us both because we started our journeys together and we, we've been through it all and managed to, to win the Euros together as well. So I don't think many best friends can say that.